Hello everyone, myself Bharadwas. In this video, we will discuss about random generator block. Open the PLC software and on the left side, scroll down to the timer section and select random generator and click here. First, add the comment. random generator okay if you see one input and one output are there these are digital signals so take one digital input and digital output connect i will use i3 you can use any input no issue this is my input. And this is my output. Add the comment. Now open the PLC hardware and download the program if you don't have the hardware with you then do the simulation you can test your logic with the simulation if you like our videos and courses subscribe our youtube channel share our videos with your friends and network the download is completed. Now I will go to the online mode. You can also follow our social media channels so that you will receive instant notifications about our latest updates. Program is downloaded. See, this is a random generator. This block, if you open and go to properties, you can find two parameters. First one is maximum on delay time, and second one is maximum off delay time. So, in this block, there are two functions one is on delay timer is there, and second one is off delay timer is also there you have to enter the maximum value. Remember that. Let's suppose I will enter 15 seconds for maximum on delay time and 20 seconds for maximum off delay time. Remember, these are maximum values, not the exact off delay or on delay times. Okay. We are instructing the block that you can go up to 15 seconds only for on delay and for off delay 20 seconds. For testing and simulation purpose, try to give uh, big values 10, 20 like that so that it will be easy for testing. So, what happens? When the input is on 0 to 1, the state is changed from 0 to 1, the input. Then this random generator block randomly picks on delay timer value. Okay. The only criteria is the maximum value is specified. So, in between 1 to the maximum value. In this case, what is the maximum value we entered? For on delay, it is 15 seconds. So, whenever this input is on, this block randomly picks the on delay value in between 1 to 15. Okay, after that, the output will be on. On will be delayed. Next, when the input is changed from on to off, okay, at that time 
again this block randomly picks off delete value okay off delay timer value what is the maximum criteria here for off delay it is 20 seconds so this block randomly picks a value in between 1 to 20 that is why this is random generator i will turn on the input i3 see input is on the timer is started now it will pick randomly some value the maximum it can go up to 15 only remember that for on delay as per our settings now it picked 9 seconds value for on delay after 9 seconds the output is on the on is delayed now i will turn off the input again a new timer will start okay it is immediately zero that means either zero or one some value very less value it is taken so that is why it is difficult to test in one time so we will test it again this time it is taken two seconds for on time okay now i will turn it off see now the value is more we can see it right previously it is very less value All 13, 14, 15, 16, 16. After half delay value, randomly this block taken is 16. The problem is after this cycle, after half delay, this timer immediately becomes zero. So we have to observe carefully what is the value it picked up for half delay. You can also give uh, 5, 4, or uh, some 6 small values. You can also test again. For on, it taken is 1 second. For off, immediately it got off. Again, we will do it. Randomly, if it taken big value, 3, 2 seconds. So, enter big, uh, high, uh, good number of values like 10 seconds, 15 seconds, 25 seconds, so that you can uh, see it clearly. Okay. If you have any experience with this type of function block, random generator for on delay and off delay, share with us through the comment section. Uh, till now, I never used this type of function block, but let's see if you receive any inputs from you guys so that we will see how we can use this type of function block that is why inputs are important we can learn from you guys also share with us through the comment section thank you i will meet you in the next video